10 Ways to Read Someone's Body Language Easily Humans are not mind readers. We cannot precisely know what is going on in someone else's mind. However, our psychological abilities are able to read the subtle signs given by the interlocutors. Understanding microlanguage is good to process information and to read an atmosphere more accurately. Some of these pointers below will help you to read someone's body language easily. How to read body language 1. Study the eyes They say the eyes are the window to the souls. This quote somehow rings a bell on how eyes give out more information than we think they could. There are several movements of the eyes to help read the behavior and subtle personality of a person. For example, dilated eyes show signs that someone is uncomfortable or he may be feeling some pressure. The size of the pupils also tells a lot. If someone's pupil gets bigger when he or she stares at someone, this could give a hint that the person is attracted to you. 2. Observe arm gestures Have you ever wondered if the person you are talking to is actually interested in the conversation or not? Well, just observe the arm gestures. Crossed arms can show that they do not want to be open with you or that they are hiding something. They are also more defensive and are not likely to respond openly to your argument. The opposite of crossed arms is open arms. If someone moves his arms frequently and does not hesitate to move them around during conversation, he is likely more comfortable and open than a person who crosses their arms. 3. Don't miss the smile. Everyone can get away with any situation just by smiling. However, not after you have learned to read someone's body language using a smile. Genuine smiles often come out naturally, almost like an instinctive response. Thus, the face often moves along with a smile. If eyes crinkle and smile along the lips, the smile is more likely a genuine one. Fake smiles often look soulless, and the eyes do not reflect it. People are also more attracted to people who smile widely, showing their teeth. It gives a sign that someone is approachable, open, and friendly. 4. Study their feet. Someone may not show their disinterest blatantly, but it can all be seen from the foot. If people keep tapping their feet, it is a sign that they are not patient or nervous and restless. The most likely assumption of people tapping their feet is that they want something to end quickly. Another sign suggested by a foot is when someone moves his foot away from the interlocutor. When the foot is facing away, they feel like leaving the conversation more than engaging with it. They may smile and try to show interest, but the truth is, they just want to get out of the place as soon as possible. 5. Observe the hand movement Another way to read someone's body language is to observe the hand movements. If you get a certain impression by seeing hand gestures, it reveals insight to the person's personality. People who like moving their hands and showing their palms show openness and excitement while clenched fists often refer to suppressed anger or frustration. If the hand is placed on the cheek or below the jawline, the person is likely interested in you. This hand gesture usually is followed by direct eye contact. If you blush when someone does this, it means you've caught the person's subtle flirtation. 6. Catch the breathing signal Self-conscious people tend to watch their gestures carefully However, a physical manifestation from their inner feelings is still visible through their breathing as you try to read someone's body language. This is more observable during their speech. Someone who has labored and quick breathing shows the person is nervous, agitated and feeling panicky, while slow and articulate breathing means the person is more relaxed. Also, notice the frequency of someone's sighs. If they are sighing multiple times during listening to something, it shows they are bored or skeptical about what the speaker says. 7. Read the body position Reading the atmosphere and the way people carry themselves are interesting objects of study. It can give away a lot of the person's current feelings and a hint of his or her personality. Notice how an introverted person often does not move their body much because they are natural listeners. When somebody puts their hands on their hips, it means the person is in defensive mode or feeling more confident than usual. The opposite, people who put their hands in their pockets, are hiding something or they are not as confident as they appear to be. 8. Consider the distance. 
Conversing with someone expresses a lot of signs to read someone's body language. Consider how the person puts the distance between them and you. If people put distance a little further away, this shows they are not comfortable or are feeling shy. Sometimes this behavior makes you instinctively want to end the conversation as soon as possible. However, the opposite works like magic, especially if you are talking to a love interest. The person who does not hesitate to speak closer to you is likely attracted to you and welcomes your presence. 9. Watch how they nod their heads. The nodding head seems to be a more positive sign to read someone's body language. It shows the person is interested in what you say. However, if you notice someone is nodding his head more frequently, it gives an entirely different impression. People who nod too many times are impatient with their interlocutor. They may also instinctively give away that they want you to stop talking and have their turn to speak. 10. Watch what they touch. An interesting part of body language is people usually are not aware of what they touch. However, this gesture actually says a lot. People who touch your palm, hand or arm are warm and caring individuals. They are also the type who like physical touch to show affection. People who touch the button of their shirts or play with their ties show a lack of confidence. This is why during a job interview it is not recommended to touch things unconsciously as it may give away a lot about unrevealed personality. Piece it together and deduce the truth. Bottom line, to read someone's body language is to assume the current mental state and the personality of a person. After learning some signs about how to read a person, putting it together will aid better understanding and communication with the interlocutor. However, do not treat this as the only language that matters. Pay attention to what they say as well.